All right, so last night, after I did my thing at three in the morning, I, I named off everything that I can think of that is wicked. And I asked the Most High to remove it, banish it. And then I imagined it away, right? So, boom, I wanted to go lay down. I had my head thing on. When I went to go lay down, I went to sleep. When I went to sleep, I got attacked. And I was getting, I was, I was getting beat up. Like they're out they're, they're terrorizing me. It was like a few of them, if I ain't mistaken. And they were terrorizing me. Okay. I had no, I couldn't fight. I couldn't, I was just getting abused. And I remember that I was trying to think of every, they were getting me so bad that I could barely think. I, I didn't know what to say. I didn't know how to call out for help to the most high. I was stuttering. I, I, I didn't know what to say. I was thinking, I, I, I was thinking of every little thing that I could say for help. I, I even said, I said, get behind me, Satan. And they laughed at me. The demons laughed at me. I said, get behind me, Satan. And they laughed at me. I said, Father, save me. Father, help me. And they laughed at me. They were heckling. They were laughing. They're, they're jokers. I tell you that right now. They are jokers. You hear me? They are jokers. They're jokers. They laugh a lot. They 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 make fun of you. They they're jokers. They make fun of your pain, your fear, and they just pick pick. You know what I'm saying? And um, that's how they were doing me. They were ragdolling me. <laughs> I don't I don't remember them ever doing me that dirty. Is that as, as dirty as they did me last night? They did me dirty. They did me dirty last night, and they're making fun of me. And I was just trying to get away, scared. They tore me up. And, um. They, they told me something, the demon. It said, it said this word, it said, preeminence. That's what it said to me, it said preeminence. And when I kind of woke up a little bit, I remembered the word preeminence, preeminence. But I was, I was like comatose. I couldn't get up and go write it down or even go look it up. But it was, it was like instilled in my mind. I knew I wouldn't forget it. So preeminence, it was there. Um, another word. Okay, well, I'll put it like this. Once I got finished with these demons, I did wind up dealing with like some angels. You know what I mean? I don't know if they was testing me or what, but I wound up in different, I wound up in a dream, which I don't really want to talk about it, but I did wind up in a dream. Um, I don't want to talk about it because I don't really understand it. Anyway, I don't want to talk about it. I wound up in another place away from these demons, as far as I know. And the, the, the spirit told me this name and it started with an M. And I was, I was saying the name, I kept repeating the name. I wanted to write it down, but I was asleep. You feel me? Um, I was guessing, what does, I didn't know, what does this mean? What does this name mean? The spirit told me that this name means the son of a father who, who was or is obedient. The son of a obedient father. Okay, I went into a dream. And don't leave out, don't forget, preeminence. Don't forget, because we're going to go back to that. But anyway, I had the dream. I'll tell you, because I had two dreams. Well, all right, listen, I had a dream. And in the dream, I was living inside of a, I had a girlfriend. And we moved inside of a home, a beautiful home. But my name wasn't on nothing. It was her home, but it's ours, but it was hers because she was the one. She was the one getting money and everything. So. Me and her got into a conf confrontation. And her family came rushing in because they lived there in like another. It was a big house. So they lived in like the West Wing of the house. We stayed in like the East. So they came in and they start her her cousins and brothers and they started rushing me um because they didn't like the tone of voice that I was using and we got we got into a conversation a scuffle but I was right the spirit was letting me know that I was right all along but I guess this is just something that I had to endure well after enduring it the spirit told me this name 
And this was the name. This is another name besides the other name. The spirit told me this name and the name is. Maliant. Now the name is Maliant. And I seen how it was spelled because they spelled it for me. It's M-A-I-L-I-A-N-T. Maliant. Now that wouldn't even seem like a name, would it? Well, it's a name. They didn't tell me what it meant. When I woke up, I looked up the name Maliant. What does it mean? Maliant means destiny or luck. It means easiness and self-disciplined. So, like a disciple. Somebody who is a disciple of the Most High, you would probably expect for them to have this name Maliant. All right. Why did the spirit tell me this name? I don't know, but I know that he told me this name after I endured what I endured. Okay. Now back to the name that the demon told said, when I woke up, I looked up with this word, with this name, Maliant, I looked up preeminence. What does preeminence mean? Okay. Preeminence means a state or quality of lasting or remaining unchanged. Something that is going to occur and keep going indefinitely. A, this is what the demons, now the demons told me this name. Okay, preeminence. It is a state or quality that is never going to change. Now this is a threat. Now I already perceive this as a threat. Because I work out listening to a song, change gonna come, change. Um, uh, that, that's the song that I go jogging to. It gives me energy, it gives me, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? One of these days, things ain't gonna change. One of these days, things ain't gonna change. Your time now, baby. After a while, gonna do mine, gonna be mine. Morning droning, baby. Try, try, high. won't be long, long. Thing gonna change. Sometime in the middle of the night, I get so lonely, so long. I listen to that and I work out to that every day. So the demons, after tearing me up, they told me this word, preeminence. That means that it's it's a state of non-changing. They're telling me it ain't gonna change. You feel me? Um, like I say, this is after me going to spiritual warfare. Now, I go on YouTube. Now this morning, after looking up these two videos, I go on YouTube. And a commercial comes on. It's the first thing that I hear. When somebody tells you. To don't go to war. Maybe you should listen. I said what? When somebody tells you. To don't go to war. Maybe you should listen. That's the first thing I heard this morning. When I went on YouTube. After doing all of this. After all of this. You hear me? When somebody tells you not to go to war, maybe you should listen. I told you I've been at sport, spiritual warfare with these devils for a little while now. And every time when I try to go to sleep, I get attacked. I'm not going to stop. But I know that they're, but I, I, I'm not, I'm not, I don't underestimate them. I don't underestimate them. They're not weak. They're not weak at all. And, um, Anyway, that's how they get down. So, um, that's how they get down. They try to tell me that this is going to be an ongoing thing. It's not going to change. Um, I tell you right now that if you ever die and go to hell, these demons are like um, human-like. They have sick sense of humors. They have they have a nasty. They have, they have like um, they're jokey, immature. I tell you right now, I know their personality. They're immature. 
they joke, they laugh, they they have no heart. They're just like people that there's just like some of these niggas that you may know. You know what I mean? You trip and fall, somebody's busting out laughing instead of coming over to see, are you okay? You know what I'm saying? Somebody falls off their bike and busts their ass and everybody's laughing and heckling instead of seeing this is dangerous. Well, I'm telling you right now that the demons are that times 10. They're times 100. They're that. And and what you would realize, what you come, what you should understand that these people are demon possessed. Okay? They were laughing at me. They were heckling me. Straight up. And I was scared as shit. They were ragdolling me. I, I, my defenses, I had none. I had no defenses. I couldn't even think right. I couldn't even think. I usually can think and stuff, you know? I couldn't even think. It's like I had died and gone to hell. And it, I don't remember feeling no pain, but intense fear. Intense fear. Intense fear. So scared. So, I tell you like that, man. Um, Alright, y'all. So, peace.